Hi there guys, it's Deirdre from Vegan Delight and uh, it's breakfast time here. So I am making myself my banana smoothie. I've got 11 bananas in there, some ice and some organic spinach. So I'll be sharing this with Jonathan. So I'll probably end up only having nine or nine and a half bananas after he takes his out. You can see my compost bucket there. We have a great composting program in Ontario. It's um, once a week and it's unlimited, so that works very well for us. We end up putting out about three buckets full, and um, so that's great. I'm gonna check in with the kids and show you what they're having for breakfast. Good morning, Charlize. Good morning. So Charlize is having for breakfast some banana bread, homemade banana bread, and some blueberries, and a glass of soy milk. Is it tasty? Yeah? Good. And then we've got Jonathan over here. Johnny, hi buddy. How's your banana bread? Tasty? It's good? So Jonathan's having the banana bread and then when I have, um, I'm just gonna make my banana spinach smoothie and he's gonna have a glass of that as well. So today I'm gonna be going to um, the aquatic center again. I have another swim. So I'll be um, over there. There's about 18 of us that get together for the swim and we have two coaches. So I'm gonna do some footage at the aquatic center, show you guys the beautiful pool, and maybe meet the coaches. So um, yeah, I'll put that in my video and I will see you guys at the pool. So here are our smoothies. I've got one for myself, Jonathan and Charlize. And I will be drinking the large one and I'll probably, it'll be about two of those cups, maybe a little bit more, we'll fill up. And I threw in a couple extra bananas because Charlize did decide she wanted to have one with us. All right, so I've arrived at the Pan Am Aquatic Center. So I'm just walking in now. So here it is. It's behind me. We got here. So. So this facility was um, built by University of Toronto as well as um, the city. And this is actually Canada's um, largest contribution towards a um, amateur sports in Canadian history. So that's really cool and the facility's beautiful. So I'm gonna go in now and uh, get ready for the swim. So this is the pool, it's the 50 meter pool. And they're just putting the lane ropes in right now, getting ready for our swim. The center's only a couple months old. I think it's just been open for just over a month. Um, so it's very clean and uh, lots of seating up there in the stands, nice high ceilings. And look at the diving boards, so impressive. There's some kids up there getting ready to take a dive, some aspiring athletes. I'm here with my coach, Kelvin. He uh, taught me how to swim. He took me from basics and really worked my stroke and helped me become a swimmer. And Kelvin is, um, follows a mostly plant-based diet. So hello, Kelvin. Hi, Dee. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Thanks for having this YouTube. Uh, <laughs> it's really good. Do you find it helpful? <laughs> yes, I love all your recipes. It's very good. <laughs> good. So yeah, I eat mostly a uh, plant-based diet as well. Uh, we've switched over from kind of doing meat and fish now to almost doing uh, almost completely vegetarian, uh, vegan, certainly vegetarian. And uh, still can't get off honey. And uh, but anyway, I love my honey. So uh, we start. We do um, in the morning mostly greens uh, with a little bit of fruit and uh, grains for lunch. And then in the evening we mix it up with more grains and again vegetables, right? And it's been really great, feeling really clean, feel like I'm burning clean, and I feel like energized through workouts as well, uh, I think because of it. Awesome. Yeah, it's Very good. good. And um, so give us your credentials. So uh, I was a competitive swimmer all my life. I grew up in a meat-eating family uh, just because I didn't know any better, and I fueled with steaks just like everybody else in my neighborhood, right, and, and the swim club. I swam till I was 18 and uh, took some time off for college university stuff and uh, to get drunk a few times and have a good time. And then I started back in my early 30s swimming. I spent the first two years focusing on what it was that I did in the water to make me a great swimmer, to be uh, efficient. And uh, so I spent that time figuring out what is it that I did 
to create speed in the water, which is something in the competitive world that never gets done. Um, people, the, the whole program in, uh, certainly in Canada, is based on, you know, send a hundred kids in the water when they're eight years old, and the ones that are eight, uh, the ones that are at the front, the top ten when they're eighteen, are is your Olympic squad. There's a lot of base, a lot of technique is missing in those areas. So. Anyway, that's what we do now. So do you consider yourself a stroke technician? Yes, that's actually on my card. Oh, cool. I call myself a stroke technician. Very good. Yeah. All right, well, thank you for talking with us. And what's your website? Uh, OannisSwims.com. So O-A-N-N-E-S Swims.com. So that's Coach K. And he took me from floating on my back to turning into a triathlete with a beautiful stroke. So he has a lot to do with the progress that I've had in my um, sport. So I'm back at home and I've just cut up some oranges for lunch. So I have uh, 25 taken from this bin. And there they are, nice and juicy, all cut up. Um, so I actually did another interview as well with my swim mate who is an NHL hockey player and he's vegan. Um, but there was too much background noise, so the interview, uh, didn't, the sound quality wasn't good. So I'm going to swim again with him tomorrow, and I'm going to redo the interview, and I'll post it up for you guys then. So if you like the video, press the like button, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Otherwise, I will see you on the next video.